Okay, good morning everyone. My name is Pete Wood from Design Spark RS and I'm here today with our special guest Massimo Banzai from Hi. Arduino. Hi. Good morning. Good. So this is the, the Maker Fair Rome 2017. Uh, absolutely incredible amount of projects and people here and I'm absolutely astounded by the, the amount of interest that's here. So Massimo, this is uh, how many times have you been to the fair here now? Well, actually I'm one of the curators. So I'm one of the people who started this thing and uh, part of the organization. So this is my fifth time. This is the fifth edition we have. So this year we have uh, over 700 makers represented, 40 countries of which all of the 28 EU countries, current EU countries. And uh, so the, it's, it's pretty amazing. We started off with 35,000 people four years ago and now we are, we, last year we were 100,000 visitors. We hope to do better this year. Okay. So it is kind of gone out of you know control. We didn't um, expect it to be so successful. Wow, so one thing I've noticed here is that Italy has a really big maker movement. I had no idea that this level of interest. How does it compare with the maker movement around the world? Is, is, is Italy kind of leading the way or? Well, uh, I think every uh, sort of, the maker movement has different identities depending on where you are. Italy is a country of small and medium companies. There are for over 400,000 companies in Italy who are about manufacturing of different kinds. So you can imagine that a lot of these companies are maybe maybe one, two, three people. So a lot of the makers here are also like a small company or like small companies that are kind of, you know, they have kind of maker methods when they kind of develop their own stuff. So I think in Italy there is more kind of a junction between the small and medium enterprise and the makers. So do you see uh, a lot more around makers becoming into the business space now? So they're starting off in, in small uh, bedrooms or garages and then moving into big businesses. Are you seeing a lot of that here in Italy? Yeah, so we, I see a lot of this happening, which is uh, quite nice. But I also see some small companies who maybe don't have the same resources as a big company to develop product who are using maker tools, like you know the open source 3D printers, the Arduinos, uh, you know, all of the stuff to create products. Okay. And so that's, I think it's a very nice kind of bidirectional sort of uh, contribution that I, I like very much. So with the, the, the growing maker movement here, there are there lots of hack spaces and fab labs popping around to support these kind of activities? Yeah, so the last time we counted, there were about 100 uh, maker spaces and fab labs in Italy, which is insane considering that in the US there are probably about 200. Wow, so, that, yeah. that's incredible. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of enthusiasm. I think a lot of these places will probably close down very very soon because a lot of them, they will start up with a lot of enthusiasm, but they don't really have a business model. But the ones who survive, they found a way to interact with their local communities, to be useful to the local companies, to provide education. And so they, they are integrating with, in their own communities and they're providing a lot of value. Okay, so obviously the maker movement here is very strong in Italy and you, I see you've got quite a focus around IoT and Industry 4.0. What is it that uh, is so attractive in that market and why are you guys focusing on that? Well, so I'm, I'm very interested in helping out the small and medium companies being able to take advantage of the same tools that bigger companies are using for their digital transformation. So something that you know, in, we call Industry 4.0 in Europe has different names in other places, but it is a digital transformation of the whole kind of uh, production processes from manufacturing to sales. So helping the smaller companies requires tools that are available off the shelf, that are simple to use, software platforms that are simple to use. So that's what we are focusing on right now in Arduino, providing off-the-shelf components that are certified, uh, our online cloud, we're doing quite a lot of work uh, on gateways, and so we're doing lots of things to help people being able to implement these processes in their company without huge investments, and also being able to use Arduino as a way to, for example, train their workers. Because it's also difficult to find people that, that you can employ, you know, because there's a, there's a demand for, for people who are know how to program with electronics. So clearly, El Arduino can help in that as well. Fantastic. Okay, so some of the products that you've got in your offer then to help support the Industry 4.0 and the IoT revolution, what are the, the key kind of products you've got to support that? 
Yes, one good example is this uh, MKR Maker product line because it's a new small sized format Arduino uh, designed for devices that have wireless connectivity and they also have battery uh, chargers on board so you can you know you can power them with batteries they are slightly more powerful than the regular Arduinos because they run on uh, Cortex and Zero Plus processors and they also have security hardware security embedded in them to make it sort of more secure to connect to the cloud so the basic model is the maker 1000 it's a wi-fi device but we also have now a maker sigfox with sigfox connectivity uh, one with lora and one with uh, um, gsm 3g connection they are on display here there's a demo that shows how easy it is to buy a carrier board plug a board plug the sensors and basically you just use our online cloud and your your data is on the cloud. Wow, so you basically have all the ingredients for somebody to do rapid prototype solution together, yeah. prove the concept and then move into production. That sounds fantastic. So, Okay, so finally Massimo, thank you so much for joining us today. Just on the fair front, have you had a chance to have a good look around and what is your favourite thing that you've seen here <laughs> this year? Actually, I haven't had the chance to see anything. I mean, I see the project come in, but I never see the fair because I was dragged yeah. around. <laughs> but one of my favorite things is over there. It's a sensor that measures the size of pears as they grow on trees. Wow. It's a Sigfox kind of connected device. Okay. And I love the idea that you measure, there's like a caliper that measures the, the pear as it grows on the tree. It's fantastic. Incredible. Well, thank you very much. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Thank you.